Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen, the place where you come if you want to find great looking Android home screens. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to set up a very good looking and easy to set up Android home screen. Let us begin. Booyah! Great, so in the previous video, Pedro mentioned a lot of things of what you guys want to see and don't worry, we've both been reading all the comments, literally all the comments, so don't worry, they will take us some time to implement, but for now, I'm going to be giving you this, this great looking Android home screen right here. So to start things off, it's Peshek's uh, version or his take on the iOS uh, look. It's called iOS 7 Concept Port. It recently got screen of the day. And as you can see, it's very easy to see why. Starting off with the main screen here, it's got a very minimal time there. It's got the very calming background that looks very minimal, very soothing. It looks really fantastic. It's got your status bar at the top there that looks really good. It's got your battery, your time and date that will always be there. And as well as this little star here. And what happens is that when you tap that little star here, brings up your jump to application. So if you want to get to say your calendar, just tapping that will bring up your calendar just like that. Very easy to do. So moving on to the second page here, we've got all of our not basically our notifications page. It's got say how much missed calls you have, how much uh, missed text messages, emails, etc. You have as well as some little weather information there as well. Let's swipe to the to the right hand side here. We've got our music page. It's got fantastic looking setup here. Um, you can just say like say, play or pause and start playing the different music, and it'll display whatever music you got going on. So if you'd like to set up this brilliant looking Android home screen, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before you begin the setup, there's just a few things that you need to take note of. You definitely want to check in the link in the description below that comes with all the resources necessary to, to provide you with this setup. There's two ways of doing this. You can either do it in Buzz Launcher or this way, which I'll be setting up, will be in SS Launcher. You're also welcome to try it on, say, Nova Launcher, Apex Launcher, or Holo Launcher, and then just use Multi-Picture Live Wallpaper to set the different wallpapers. So, like I said, once you've got a custom launcher, next what you'll be needing are the apps. First app you'll be needing is UCCW, that enables you to set up all these different skins. Next will be your power amp music player over here. Your pop-up widget, you do want to get the pro version in order to um, enable some cool looking features like this. Oh, and not to mention that if you want to get SS Launcher, I do recommend getting the paid version of this launcher. It's simply fantastic. And then finally, maybe a good file explorer just to help you navigate through all the different files that you need to copy onto your phone. Once you've got that out of the way, we can move right on to our launcher settings. Great, so like I said, for this launcher setup, I'll be using SS Launcher, the original, just to make things looking a whole lot better. So, like I said, make sure that you've copied all the resources onto your phone. If it comes in a, a zip format, you can use a file explorer such as ES File Explorer to actually unzip it onto your phone. And there you'll have all your necessary resources such as the wallpapers, skins, etc. If your preference is using Buzz Launcher, then it also comes with the backup where you can just simply... Um, I'm not really a fan of Buzz Launcher, but I'm guessing you can just... Uh, put it in the Buzz Launcher folder and then you can just back it up from there. But carrying on, we're going to be setting up SS Launcher this time around. Great for all the gingerbread fans out there. So in order to set up, we're going to start by removing these home labels at the top here. Just simply hold down on them. On them. Remember, you need the original version or the paid version in order to do this. We want to scroll down to the bottom, select hide labels and then apply changes. Boom, gone. We do not need it. There we go. So next we're going to jump into our settings. So for Nexus 4 guys, you're just going to select your back button. Other guys, you're just going to your menu and then SS Launcher Settings. From here, we're going to go into our preferences and we want to select full screen. That will enable you to hide the notification bar at the top. But don't worry, you can still slide down to see what you have. We're going to select back now and there it is gone, ready to remove the widgets. So widgets very easy to remove. You're just going to hold down on them, select remove or you can just drag them into the little bin at the top whatever works best for you. So just make sure you get rid of all of them. And last one there, we're just gonna select remove. Now what we're gonna be doing is to add in those three screens. We've already got one already, which is our home screen. Next, we can change our hot. This is a quick way of doing it. You can either select plus at the bottom to or the new page button at the bottom to add in a new page. Or alternatively, if you just wanna remove the hot page, you can select your edit here. You can select, instead of it being a, or what type of page it is, you can change it to a cover page allowing you to make it pretty much the same as a home page. You can call it what you want. Now I'm just going to be calling it notifications like that. Bring down the drop down and select OK. Now I'm going to make this one my first page. So in order to do that, I'm going to hold down on it, drag it above the home page. So now it's going to be the first page and now the home page will be the second one. 
Now I'm just going to add in one more to show you the alternative way of doing this. I'm just going to select the new page here. Your label now, I'm going to be calling it the music page. So I'm just going to swipe it like that. That's music done. Selecting OK. That has now created a music page. Just double check in the little edit here that it is a cover page and not some application draw or whatever else. I'm just going to drag it up here just below the home button. So now you should have your three pages like this. You're welcome to delete your other ones here by selecting the little bin just by and then it'll get rid of them. But you're welcome just to leave it now just for display purposes. So once you've added in these three pages, I'm just going to select theme now. As we now we're going to move into the swiping animations just so that it looks a whole lot better. I'm going to be selecting animation now. Your speed, you're going to decrease the speed to only let's make it 100. And your type, you want to make it fading as it really gives a much better appearance. Effect doesn't really matter which one you go for, let's say for one doesn't really matter at all but you definitely want to select apply changes otherwise it will not save for you now you can't really see what's happening now but it's swiping really really quickly and it looks really good at the same time and that's pretty much our SS launcher settings complete we're still going to be changing the wallpaper now which is still part of the SS launcher settings but it's kind of a different section so I'm going to jump right into the wallpaper Great, so in order to set up the wallpaper, very easy to do on SS Launcher. You just need to select the back button or just going back into your SS Launcher settings. And if you notice, under each one of these pages, it's got a little, little gallery icon there. That's going to be for setting up your different wallpapers. So say now for notifications, I'm just going to select it now and it brings up this little blank screen here. As we want to start populating this with our wallpapers. So we want to select add an image and you can choose your whatever your preferred gallery app is. Preferred one, I always go for uh, Quick Pick. I already enjoy it. And from here, you want to find that folder that you've copied onto your phone. Remember to extract it either using copying onto your computer or just straight onto your phone and extracting it via a file explorer. Now, from here, you're going to be selecting your first wallpaper, which will be this one over here. Um, it's kind of got the little different wallpapers within it. And from here, you just want to select it again to save it. As you can see now, it is now being stored, which is what we want. Next is for users. It might be slightly squished for you guys. Um, you're welcome to try and edit it using Photoshop, but I didn't really notice a difference. I still think it looked fantastic, so it's up to you guys what you think. Galaxy S3 guys and anyone else shouldn't have a problem with the wallpaper sizing at all. From here, we're going to jump into the Homes wallpaper setting here. We're just going to select Add an Image once again. Go back into your gallery app, go back into that folder with all your wallpapers on them and then select that first one. It's got that calming wallpaper background there. From here we're just going to do the same for the music one. Select add an image once again, back into your gallery app, back into that folder and you're going to select the one with the crowd cheering. Yeah, that one over there. That's all of yours being set up. That is your wallpapers done. We're just going to select back now, see what it looks like. So swiping across. Wow. Wow really really cool i really enjoy this screen so once that wallpaper is done we're going to start by adding in those uccw widgets great now for these uccw skins very easy to add you just need to simply hold down on your home screen and select new widget great thing about ss launcher is that there's no grid sizes so you pretty much have free roam of how you want to resize these skins now i'm just selected uccw there the size that you choose is somewhat important as it just makes things a whole lot easier for when you want to resize. So say for something like the time, I went for a 4x2. Remember, this is going to be for the main screen setup. From here, you want to go into use zip at the top here. And you want to find that folder that you've copied that onto your phone, the one that contains all of it. Make sure to call it something relevant, such as concept port. Now, it comes with all your different UCCW skins here. So for the time, I'm just going to select the time, use zip. Select yes. It's going to import it now for you. And all you have to do is tap away and then tap the hand and hopefully it should appear with a clock. Now, I did run into a bit of a, a scare when I started adding in all of these widgets. It came up with that white rectangle of death. I got really frustrated. I didn't know what to do. So eventually I just started restarting my phone and eventually after one or two restarts, eventually just came right. Yeah, that, um, I'm not sure if it'll work for you guys or if, you, if any of you guys will run into the error. But if you do, restart your phone. It is the best fix, I guess. Well, the one that I could find. So all you want to do now is just resize it a bit so it looks a, bit, a little bit better. Just select it now. This will bring up your little editors. As you can see, the little side resizes here. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger by dragging it down. As you can see, boom, it looks a whole lot better. Now you have to just simply tap away and there it is, your first skin added. 
Now all you have to do is start adding in each one of your skins one by one. It may sound like a bit of a time consuming process, but once you get on a roll, it actually ends up being a very, very quick procedure to do. So say for the top bars, just think, well, it's gonna be a bar, so what size you're gonna go for? Well, let's try out a, say for a four by one. Let's see how that turns out. I'm just gonna select use it once again. Now I'm gonna select status bar this time, as that's what it is at the top. It's a status bar, so I'm gonna tap away again, tap the hand, see what it looks like well you can't really see too much but if you hold down on it move it a bit resize it there we go i think that looks pretty good i'm just going to tap away now so there it is a status bar set up you're just going to have to do that one two and three times for that to get your status bar set up you can't just copy and paste it that'd be silly now from here you're just going to be adding in each one of the, the use ups pretty easy to do i'm not going to do every single one as pretty much just adding in the time you're going to be doing the same except now you're going to be doing it for say phone your messages your weather and then your email so i'm going to let you do that now and i'm going to catch up with you once you have completed with all of them great so they have added in each one of these different uccw skins very easy to do and as always you can just if you want to hold down on it and select it again you've even got this little controller here to get it exactly aligned with the rest of the skins so i'm just going to tap back now and now one thing you might notice is that your gmail might not appear with anything it might just have a few dashes now in order to fix that you just have to tap the skin to bring it up if it doesn't that means your uccw or your lock widgets mode is on in order to rectify that you just have to go into your app draw selecting your little options at the top here or at your bottom depending on what phone you have make sure that lock widgets is off that will now enable you to edit each one of your skins just to make sure make sure that they look good from here you want to be changing or setting up your email account very easy to do in uccw all you'd have to do now is select edit objects scroll the way down or not scroll and select gmail one from here you want to select scroll all the way down and you just need to change your account now what you have to do here is select your preferred gmail account and then I guess you could just leave the label unless you really wanted to change it. So there, I've just changed my email account. Very easy to do. I'm just going to select back now, back again, close app, yes. And it should hopefully say if you got any emails or not. From here, I'm just going to swipe across now. One more UCCW skin that we want to be adding is that pop-up widget. Remember that one that showed you with all the apps that you have. Now, in order to do that with SS Launcher, with other apps, I guess you could just add in a um, pop-up widget shortcut. But SS Launcher is slightly different. In order to do that, you want to hold down on that starry area. You want to select new shortcut. From here, you want to select type and change the type to others. Don't go for widget or shortcut. Make sure that it's on others. From here, you want to select your target. You want to scroll down and you want to find pop-up widget right there. Very easy to do. From here, you want to select create a new widget. As you're going to be creating a new pop-up widget, I guess you would want to be call it and you want to scroll down and you want that widget to be a uccw skin now i do recommend going for the largest one that you could find so i went for a four by four and that seemed to work out pretty well now from here you're going to import the skin again you're going to select use up but this time around you're going to select pop-up apps use up as that's well, the one that contains all the apps now if you scroll down this is what it's going to be looking like you want to make it slightly bigger what well, seems to work for me let's make just drag the handles a bit bigger and then yeah so that's what it should look like from here you can pretty much leave everything standard there's not too much you want to do maybe if you want to change the title to say call it something like apps i guess you could call it just so you know what it is select okay and i'm just going to select back now now there it is it's being configured i'm just going to select it now as so now ss launcher knows what you want to be changing from here i'm just going to be you want it to be transparent and a quick workaround in this is as it stands now it's just a title with the text that says apps so all you'd have to do is make that title transparent so all you'd have to do now is select title select text color and make sure that you want to drag this all the way up to the top there so it's fully transparent as you can see it's now changed you want to, you want to select that changed color scroll down and select apply changes so if you want to check now, it has now disappeared, but don't worry, that mean, doesn't mean your skin is gone, just means that it's invisible. You want to select apply changes now, and as you can see, it's now been applied quite small, but the one thing you want to do is to make sure that you get it in the middle of that star, as now if we tap away, tap it again, boom, massive hand just appeared, but you want that, you don't want that hand, you want those apps. So I'm going to select the hand now, hopefully now your apps have now appeared, we can tap away again, see what that is wow really cool i really enjoy these pop-up widgets can't get enough of them 
Now what you want to be doing is configuring each one of these hotspots so that they open up each one of your apps that you want. Now it's very easy to do, all you have to do is make sure that it's open I guess and you want to select it now as this will now open up your UCCW editor, that one that you saw previously. Now all you have to do now is start adding in hotspots and editing them. So in order to do that you want to select edit objects and select hotspots. Now it comes with a whole range of them but we want to select with number one. So I'm just going to select number one now and it isn't on screen so you just want to drag it around. So say I want it to be over my calendar. It's going to drag it over like that. We can change the width. Don't really have to change the height but the width is kind of important. So make sure that's this. So make sure that it's pretty much covering the app. You want to select close and now you want to change the hotspot that it's going to open. So you're going to be selecting hotspot now and selecting app. You're welcome to choose those other ones but app always works well. Now I want it to open up my calendar so I'm just going to select calendar like that and now it's been set as a calendar hotspot. So once you select that area with your hotspots mode on it'll open up your calendar very plain and simple. So now all you want to do is to do that to every single one of these different apps and now select back. I'm not going to select lock widgets just for now as I just want to make sure that you configure all the other hotspots as well. So I'm just going to select back now, select yes. Now all you want to be doing is to do pretty much changing or configuring all the different hotspots, making sure that they open up your app of choice. Otherwise don't complain that when you select phone and it doesn't op open up your phone app and then wonder why. That's because you need to configure each one of these hotspots individually. Now once you have all the hotspots that you want and you're happy with each one of them, all you want to do is go back into your little settings here, go into your lock widgets and make sure that it is on. So now once let's just test that out, I'm just going to be selecting the little star here. If I select the calendar, boom, open up the calendar just like that. So that is your UCCW skin setup. If you run into some problems such as your weather not displaying the correct weather, you might want to go into your UCCW settings, go into your weather provider and then just change it accordingly and hopefully it should rectify itself. Now finally we just need to add in this bodacious looking music widget. Great, so in order to add in the music widget, very easy to do. We just need to simply to hold down on the home screen, select new widget and you want to scroll all the way down to power amp. Now you want to go for that large one that comes with it and there's just a few things that you just want to be changing here. Very easy to do. Your background opacity, you want to slide all the way to the left so there's no background at all. Your shadow opac opacity all the way to the left as well. Your text, if you select it now, you want to change this text color to a it's kind of like a dark uh, dull red so just swipe it up there and get it to about this area. I don't know it for exact but that's pretty much the red that was shown on the screenshot. Going to select OK now. Now I'm just going to go into other and your button theme you want it to be none, no theme whatsoever. All you have to do now is select done. It's going to now hopefully add it for you now where you can now, remember you can still resize this at your will. So let's get this making, get it making, making it look a bit better. There we go. So I'm just going to select back now and there we have our home screen complete. So we can swipe across, got all of our little notifications here. We can open up our hotspots just by selecting that. Swiping across we've got our awesome music little wi widget here that plays and pause whenever you want it. So thank you very much guys for watching this home screen tutorial. Hope it's set up for you. If not, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and see what I can do as well as. But also read the other comments as your problem might have been solved already. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. And if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook, Google+, Twitter community, and Instagram community as we always enjoy helping you guys create awesome looking home screens. So thank you very much guys for watching. And as always, don't stop customizing.